Welcome back to the channel. Today we are headed to Boston, Massachusetts and attempting to find a safe, stealthy camping spot for the night. If you happen to be new to the channel, I'm Becca and this is my pup Sky. We travel all over in our truck camper and go on some crazy adventures. We always bring you guys along with to enjoy the ride too. So with that being said, let's head to the city. Look at all that, look at all that traffic. Look at all that. And I have to get to pretty much where it's the worst. That's everyone leaving the city. It is five o'clock traffic, which is more four o'clock now. I feel like it's not really five o'clock anymore, but it's 4.57, there's still traffic. A bunch of traffic on the opposite side of the highway going the other way. It's just everyone leaving. I don't think we're gonna hit too much crazy traffic going into the city, we'll see. We're 18 minutes away as we speak and we're headed to good old Boston. I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm not very much of a city person, but I do love getting out of my comfort zone. And the last time that we city camped was in downtown New York City. That was actually one of the worst camping nights of my life in downtown. Got some frozen dough. But that had nothing to, I guess nothing to do really with the city itself. It was um, something I caused. Nonetheless, so far we don't have a great track record with me going into cities and camping. So <laughs> uh, just hoping to have a better camping experience in Boston than New York City. We'll see how that goes. But I have a few ideas of where I want to camp. Camping in a city is pretty hard, especially because my rig is not insanely stealthy by any means. I, I wouldn't call it a stealth rig. My old rig was very stealthy, but what I rock now, not so much. And there's probably a pretty good chance we, we struggle to find a good spot for the night. Um, but hey, that's okay. We're gonna go straight into the city, see what is going on, and go to the grocery store as well industrial buildings 1.2 miles away from the grocery store <laughs> we're gonna try going to Trader Joe's Trader Joe's is huge in Massachusetts and is my favorite grocery store of all time they have so many like amazing products and kind of reasonably priced grocery store in my opinion I don't think they're that expensive for a grocery store they're not you know on the same level as Aldi's Aldi's is always going to be top tier, but they're up there. And they're actually owned by the same company. The same corporation owns Aldi's and Trader Joe's. Fun fact. And they both rock. There's no way I'm getting a parking spot. Oh, there's just no parking. There's Trader Joe's right there. Okay, I'm gonna go like a street over or something. I honestly don't think this is gonna work out. Welcome. I gave up. I can't. I don't know how much this is going to cost. I'm kind of nervous to pay at the, it says pay at the exit. We'll see how much it costs. <laughs> I have no idea. But the fact that you have to pay for parking to get a spot, I just drove around for 20 minutes. So to put in perspective, say I just kept driving to find a spot, whatever, maybe didn't find it. Cities just stress me out when I have such a big vehicle like this because there's not many parking opportunities and opportunities to park period for any vehicles but especially mine so yep yeah, we'll see how much parking is to just get groceries off to a hot start but hey we found a spot and it's not that far of a walk so i'm not that mad it could be worse wait seaport boulevard walk sign is on the cross Is the line always this long? Uh, sometimes, but it hasn't been this long for a while. We 
you kind of go through like a summer slowdown. A lot of people leave the leave the neighborhood. Yeah. And then once Labor Day comes, it's just an explosion of people. Like yesterday was the busiest Monday we've ever had. Like it was a lot busier than this. Than this, I didn't even get like half the stuff. I I just yeah. We just got we got yes yesterday we got so blown out. Do you want some seat? No, thank you. All right, have a good night. Thank you. You too. Thank you. I was unaware that the entire city of Boston shops at Trader Joe's. That was my bad. <laughs> Usually the worst grocery shopping experience possible. I waited in line for over 45 minutes just to check out with a few things and I didn't grab half of the stuff I wanted because I saw that line and I needed to get out of there and I got wicked anxious and just only grabbed fried rice for dinner and I think I got the tofu fried rice not even the right fried rice that i wanted to get so currently for dinner tonight all we're having is tofu frozen fried rice mmm <laughs> that sucked i need to figure out what to do now i know hi sky that was insanity i've never experienced anything like that in my life i never want to again Just take a second, right, and think. How much would parking for 45 minutes cost? I'll give you a second. Ready? $35. I just spent $35 to run into a grocery store. There not be any room to get groceries. So I get nervous, leave, wait in line for 45 minutes get to my truck not even have food i just wasted so much money and i don't know where we're camping and we're down 35 bucks <laughs> my spirits are still high i haven't totally given up we hit the road and we only drive roughly a mile and a half to two miles to get to a another parking lot that i was planning on considering for camping in real time, I did not notice this sign. I'm only seeing it for the first time now looking back at the footage. Pause. What does that say? Mm, it says trailers, RVs, and oversized vehicles not permitted. Vehicles will be towed at owner's expense. Did not see this and well, you guessed it. We ended up staying here anyways and going through with it. So fingers crossed, nothing happens. I'm gonna move my truck over there and I think that's a good parking spot so at least no one's parking next to me on the other side. Hi buddies! <laughs> a city girl <laughs> yeah <laughs> not a bad view right next to where we're camping as you can see some big buildings big old boston buildings we're right there <laughs> i'm not really sure this is gonna be a good parking spot someone has a note on their car it says warning parking for this vehicle at flex lot has not been paid must pay by scanning qr code upon entry luckily we did that but trucks right there big old beautiful view behind us i mean is it a stellar spot for the night that is to be determined <laughs> all right good girl i'm not gonna pop up the truck camper this is usually what the truck camper looks like but i'm keeping it popped down because I'm a little bit nervous of making it overly obvious. I already look somewhat obvious. Basically, there's a few apps that I use uh, primarily every single day, I'd say. One of my favorite apps is called iOverlander. Not sponsored, just an app anyone can download. It's free. And people who do the same stuff as me in camp and whatnot find places where they have safely camped before and will leave a review there 
and I found this spot on iOverlander and it's basically it's basically just like a parking lot it made you scan a QR code when you pulled in I'm gonna screen record this this is what the app looks like it made me scan the QR code when I came in and it says I've been here for an hour and 40 minutes and so far it's nine dollars but when I click the rate and fees it says max charge for 24 hours is eight dollars but it's already at 8.99 so i'm a little nervous <laughs> but i'll keep you guys updated as things go on and especially when we wake up i'm probably going to keep checking the app because if it gets too high i'll be really disappointed but on that app that i use everyone was saying it's all good and that it's really cheap and that they only spent like eight ten bucks or something so i don't know I can't believe the only thing I ended up with was this. Sometimes you let your anxiety control you. <laughs> Just a little bit. Things happen. Smells so good. These are the only other two things I got. I got Chomps and then the best chips ever made. These. Literally the best chips ever. I'm on my weight loss journey stuff right now. Shout out to some of the people who have uh, realized in the comments. Um, only a few comments I've gotten so far about um, the fact that I look like I've lost some weight. Some weight is an understatement. Currently down 16 pounds. So yeah, thank you to everyone who's noticed that I've been working my butt off. I'm thinking about making kind of an entire video of my journey. Um, and that just wouldn't come out for a few months because I want to be down like another as I was saying um, I want to be down like at least a minimum of another 15 pounds before I make a video but just know behind the scenes I'm working my butt off and thank you to everyone who's noticed I can't believe we're doing it but we're here we're in Boston This is delicious with edamame, tofu, and seaweed. That's incredible. I'm not mad. It's getting a little bit late, and I think I'm gonna get myself ready for bed. Here's the update on how much we're at. Three hours and just under three hours and 45 minutes, and we're still at 8.99, so I think it's not gonna go up. I don't know. But it's almost 10 o'clock at night, so I feel like it, if it was gonna go up, it would've gone up by now. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> Here is where I am for a visual. So that's like the downtown, and then this is downtown Seaport. So I'm in the Seaport district. So this is where I am in that little blue dot. Not bad. Not bad. A quick word from Sky. No word of the night from Sky maybe a word of the morning from her keep you guys posted if anything crazy happens hopefully not so far i feel relatively safe i'll let you know Good morning, rise and shine. Very peaceful night. 
no issues whatsoever. It is absolutely packed in this parking lot now. It's kind of crazy to see the difference. I have not checked the app to see how expensive this is going to be for an overnight. I don't think it went up personally. Just throwing it out there, I don't think so. We've been parked here for just under 14 hours. $8.99, that's it. <laughs> I was so nervous that was gonna go up. I don't know, I'm usually I have to turn down my brightness for you guys to see, but hopefully you can see that. 14 or almost 14 hours, $8.99. That is not bad. Now, what is going on this morning, you may be asking yourself. This morning, Lila actually has classes. If you're new to the channel, you're probably like, cool, don't know who Lila is. If you've been on the channel, watch the videos for a while now. Lila is my significant other, love of my life, and she's in law school right now, and her classes start at 10, but she usually gets to the city around, I don't know, early. So I'm going to meet up with her and bring her some coffee. We won't really have any time to hang out because she has a lot, a lot of homework all the time. And this morning is no different. So I'm going to give her some coffee and then, well, you'll see. But let's go pick up some coffee for Lila. I sent her a coffee place last night. She sent me what she wanted. So it is time to go get Miss Lila some coffee and hopefully we find parking. I don't know. All I did was just drive out and the app knew that I left. The second I crossed over, I got a notification and my phone buzzed and it said like, thank you for staying at our lot, total price, here's your receipt. That's crazy. Technology is just, I don't even know if I can keep up anymore. Look at that parallel park jump. Not bad. Excuse me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. That went a ton better than Trader Joe's grocery shopping yesterday. <laughs> I got you an almond croissant. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Hi, Sky. Have fun. I'm going to the mountains. Okay, I love you. Alright, I love you. Bye. I think I need to force myself to spend more time here to not dislike it, but that's not at the top of my priority list. I'm headed north right now. I'm going to the mountains just sayonara. I want to just be away from people. It's going to be an entire 360 literally, but it's what I need right now. Um, I was already planning on doing that nonetheless, so it just makes sense to just do it this way, honestly. <sighs> just like that, we are out of the city. I'm headed north. I'll catch you guys there on the next one for sure. Look forward to that. I'm excited just to be up there for a few days and then Sky has a vet appointment and then I have a few other things and I may or may not have joined a hockey team so I kind of have to be back for, I believe I have a game every Sunday. So um, yeah, big things happen in my life, a lot's going on just kind of need a break and head to the mountains for a few days which is what I'm doing and I'm bringing you guys along with but that's gonna have to wait city life to the mountain life baby I'll catch you guys on the next one hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did honestly super fun not as crazy expensive as I thought and I like seaport seaport's pretty safe just really expensive to live there so that's never gonna happen um, but yeah end in the video here I love you guys I appreciate you guys sky and I will catch you beautiful people on the next one